I've got this Braun bathroom fan right here. And all night long when it's really windy outside, all I hear is click, click, click. And I think it's a flapper inside opening and slamming shut, opening and slamming shut from the wind blowing outside. So I'm going to try to fix this right now. We'll see if we can get that fixed. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take this center cover off the light, take the light bulb out and unscrew this plastic area around here to get this down so I can actually see up inside if there's actually a flapper in there hitting. So this right here should just pop right out just like that. Clean that while we got it down. And then we've got the light bulb in here. This should just unscrew. And then we've got acorn nut right up in here that I'm just unscrewing by hand. Should be one screw somewhere that allows that fan to swing down, which should give us access to that flapper that's making that noise. I'm gonna figure that out right now. So looking at this a little bit more, there's a plug right here that this should just unplug just like that. It looks like just a standard house plug to plug the light in. So now we should be able to get this part out here. So right next to the other plug we unplugged for the light, there's this plug here which goes to the fan. So we're just gonna unplug this one as well. I think it's a pretty obvious note that before you start any of this work, go down to your breaker panel, make sure the power to this light is completely 100% cut off at the breaker panel. Don't just trust the switch, shut it off at the breaker. Now in my Braun unit, Right here, you'll see the sticker, so it actually tells you what the model is and how many zones and how many cubic feet per minute that this fan will operate at. Right here, there's a slot. If you stick a screwdriver in there, you can kind of pop this tab out, and this whole unit should swing right down and come right out. Kind of just like that. Just kind of gotta make it around these screws. Kind of hard to do this one-handed, holding the camera. Just keep working at it, so this will come out that sometimes they're really sloppy with their plaster work you might have to chip away some of this plaster in here to get this unit to fully come out so i'm gonna do that right now because there's a bunch of crap right there all right so i got this stuff cleaned up right here so this should slide right up just like that it's so right up in here this right there is the flapper it's kind of opening and closing every time the wind's blowing here right there you can see it just pink and it's that annoying noise that goes on all night long. So I'm gonna see if I can put something on that flapper to soften the blow a little bit. Just reached up in there and this popped right out. So I'm sure this keeps stuff from coming back in the house though. So I'm gonna figure out a way, if there's a way I can just put something on here, like a piece of foam maybe, to keep it from making that clanky noise. This should be a really easy fix. So I'm gonna possibly just put some foam right along this edge, just to something to soften that clanking noise. This is the current situation right now bathroom fan this is the culprit of flicking so when the wind blows it opens and slams it shut again clack 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 so i might put some foam along the back side just to keep it from clacking and i found out that we didn't have an led bulb in there it was a cfl bulb so i might go get an led bulb for that so while i had this flapper out i cleaned it in the sink along the fan side here this opens when the wind blows outside and then it slams shut again so it's slamming along the back side right down here so I've got some final foam weather seal I picked up from Home Depot a long time ago. I use this stuff on the backside of license plates for cars to keep them from scratching the paint when you screw your license plate on. I'm just gonna cut a little piece of this and just tape it right along the back side of here. So when this goes up and closes and slams again, it slams on the foam instead of plastic right on metal here. So I'm just gonna put a couple drops of super glue along here just to make sure this doesn't fall off. I cut the piece of foam right here. I'm just gonna put a couple drops of super glue along the way here. Doesn't need anything crazy. I just want it to make sure it holds well. And we're just gonna take this foam, plop it right down on top of there. So I've got the foam placed in, set in place right here. I'm just gonna make sure I keep pressure on it so the glue dries. Super glue dries really fast. Once that's dry, we're gonna peel this vinyl layer off. It's just gonna leave us a nice thin piece of foam on the back side of this flapper here. Then the only other trick is to get this put back up into place, which might be a little difficult because I'm working in a small room over top of the toilet with a, a ladder that doesn't actually fit in the room that well. So I'll have to get up there and Get this placed back in. Peel this vinyl off just like this. That was nice and super soft. Should be held really nicely in place with that super glue we put on. Plus it's got glue on it or sticky stuff anyway. Now we're gonna put this back up inside the fan here. Make sure we get this, these two clips put in where they're supposed to go. So I've got this reinstalled back up in here though. I had to make sure if you get this correctly is there's a little hole on this side and there's a little hole up here on this side that this goes back into. You can see it's still moving freely. But now, got a lot less of a clanking noise when this hits the bottom. So I 
think that's gonna fix our little problem here. You can see it's still moving. You can still hear the, the wind outside blowing and it's still sucking it back and forth. So I know I didn't weigh it down. I think that should work really nicely. Bing. So since I had everything taken apart here, I blew the motor out, got all the dust off of everything, cleaned up everything nicey nice. I even cleaned up the actual light. Sometimes you get a lot of dust and bugs accumulated in there. So right now we're just gonna take this and put it all back up into the ceiling. When you're reinstalling this, it kind of goes in an angle. You get these two tabs over on this side installed and then this side kind of just pushes straight up into place here. And it clips in right there. So it's clipped in on this side and it's clipped in on this side. Let me just take the power plug right here. Let me plug that right back in to the socket it came out of right there. So right now the fan is completely 100% reinstalled into the ceiling. Now we're gonna reinstall the light fixture. Now we plug the light back in. We wanna line up this hole here with that stud right here and put that acorn cap back on to tighten this back up to the ceiling. Hard to do this with one hand, so I'm gonna set the phone down. So you kinda just have to play with the positioning. I had to turn it sideways and that's where it lines up where it goes right there. If this screw's too long, this screw right here that you're screwing the acorn nut onto, that can screw in and out to adjust. But you just wanna make sure that the fan is nice and tight against the ceiling the best you can. I've got the acorn nut reinstalled right here. So the last thing I have to do is put a bulb in. I'm gonna replace that CFL with an LED, put the cover back on, and we'll be 100% done with this project. You can still hear it clicking a little bit, but I think it's a lot less pronounced than it was before. And then we reinstall the bulb. Last thing we do is we just insert the cover into place. Make sure everything looks straight. You should be done now. So after you get everything reinstalled up into the ceiling, everything's back together, you're comfortable with that, go back, turn the power back on, and then just test it out by flipping the power on. We should be good to go. So hopefully this helps somebody out there with their Braun bathroom fan. If it does, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know if this did help you. As always, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.